yesterday. Now the was time in the air. And according to you, you saw on um the view on the view where Nikki Haley came. They were talking about something she did for Valentine's Day. What did she do for Valentine's it Day? It looks like she actually posted. The actual words from Comb Over mm -hmm. that he has said in his years of being the president to the 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 dictator leaders right in the in the world mm -hmm. Putin he said some loving words to Putin mm -hmm. he said some loving words to Kim Jong Un and he said I believe it was China too well I'm sure Putin is first well she was yeah. very creative. She so took, she put him in Valentine's Day She took card. those nice little words that showing that they're loving for each other. And I like you. Hey, you are. Hey, whatever he said. Put them in, in little Valentine's Day cards and put their names on them. Like he was <laughs> sending those cards to those dictator rulers. Now, she got, did she get some kickback from that? Or I don't she, even know. Yeah, I guess the, the Republicans and the mega people didn't like it. Who cares? It says Republican President Nikki knows she's not going to win, so she don't care. But who cares? She's going to play right. this all she as long as play it she all can. The way. Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley's campaign took Valentine's Day dig at her chief GOP opponent, former President Trump, by highlighting his love, <laughs> love for brutal dictators. Exciting and new. Where's my picture? Did you put it on? Did you? We're expecting you. Hey. And love <laughs> won't hurt anymore. <laughs> It's a certain song on the friendly, on the friendly shore. shore. The love boat soon will be making another run. The love boat promises something for everyone. And love <laughs> won't hurt anymore. <laughs> Na 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 na. Come on, ride aboard or something. The love. Oh, wait a minute. What is it? Welcome aboard. It's love. <sighs> she took this and she ran with it because he has made comments publicly now. About their Imagine relationships. Imagine my funny Valentine playing in the background. Okay. My funny Valentine. Yes, go ahead. Okay, hum along, hum. Sweet Valentine. I don't really know the melody. You make me smile. When I know. Happy Valentine's Day from Donald Trump to dictators around the world. <laughs> Over the years, Trump has possessed his love for the world's most brutal dictators and praised their strength and leadership skills. Trump once famously described... <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> we can't even do it. It's so serious. Keep going. I don't know the melody. <laughs> Just how many things. Trump once famously described his communication with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. He wrote me a beautiful letter. They're great letters. We fell in love. Or should I do it in my Trump voice? Keep going. He wrote me a beautiful letter. And they're great letters. Me and Kim Jong-un fell in love. These are his actual words. Another letter is dedicated or directed from Trump to himself. It reads, roses are red, violets are blue. I love dictators and they love me too. <laughs> Then they gave a letter to the president of China, written in Trump's own words. He's strong like a granite. He's so strong. I know him very well. President Xi of China, what can I say? Oh, he runs 1.4 billion people with an iron hand. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and last but not least, my Putin. I called President Putin of Russia to congratulate him on his election victory. The fake American news media is crazed because they wanted me to ex excoriate him or whatever word. They were wrong. Putin is widely expected to be reelected come March. The love boat promises something for everyone. And da -na 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 -na, <laughs> your mind's on a new road. And Putin, <laughs> I'm in love with you. <laughs> You're not as bad <laughs> as they try to make you. Uh, so what? You put people uh, in <laughs> Siberia. <laughs> and so what? You allegedly it's poison funny. people who are disagree with but you. But you know what? It's but funny. But you're my guy. It's and funny I that I love um, you. Nikki. Did was very creative doing this Thank around you. Valentine's Day. It, it, we're laughing, we're chuckling, we're joking, we're singing love boat songs with Valentines and, and tulips. But this is very, very scary. If he feels a certain way about these dictator leaders, leaders in the world, come on, you guys. When he is in that position China, as president. China is strong. Oh. So what? There's a billion people who live on the bottom of the earth. They're underneath the, the, the ground of China. So what? There's starving people over there and they don't, he don't give two rats about them. So what? He tells how many children you're supposed to have and they make women can't have a certain amount of children. Hey, strong. And that's what we need here. And he will make so our country strong. Oh, yeah, Russia. So what the heck in our computer system? You don't think we hack people's computer systems? When I get in office, I'll tell you exactly whose people we're hacking. And I'll also give up the secret spies in all the country so they'll know who they are. Okay. Remember he took home classified documents that actually had the names Russia. of secret spies. Russia one. They can't find the Russia one. That's they really sad. Them. Nobody's talking about that still. They not. They can't find it. See? But we love. That's not good. He didn't send love letters to these people. Love them. He loves them. He loves the power that they have. And the sad thing about it is she used his own words yeah. to create Valentine's so Day So Mecca cards. can't say. Um, she made up fake, fake news. news. You know, they quit to say That's something fake news. That's your man that you are supporting. His words. They quit to say something is fake news. I know. They love what he says all the time. Sometimes right. he don't even remember. They did do a, um, it was so funny. The other day, they've been showing his articles, his interviews, mm -hmm. forgetting things. Thank you. Um, did you remember when you're such, uh, you know what? I may have said that, Thank but you. I don't remember anymore. They, it was so many clips. But yet they're dogging out Biden right. for forgetting some All information. Right. But that, that was funny. I had to bring that one I up know. real quick. Go ahead. All right. Um, don't quit your day job, Monica says. Ah, <laughs> And she said, laugh out loud. And Justice says, y'all need to send that to Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel probably going to do something on it. If you not did. tonight, Let's right? Because it was tonight. yesterday, right? Yeah, that's true. It was yesterday. All right, y'all. That's the end of the love story between okay. uh, Trump and Vladimir Putin. Oh, yeah. Real quick. Y'all heard about this um, interview interview with 